This little yellow box behind me is a portable generator. If you're not familiar, they're used at campsites or tailgating if you need some mobile power. They use gasoline to generate electricity and you can plug in a few different appliances uh, depending on how big the generator is. You can plug in a lot of things or maybe just a couple of things. Another reason people will buy a gas power generator is for extended power outages at home. When you live out in the woods like I do, it, it does happen sometimes and it can help get you through. You can plug in your fridge uh, or some lights or even maybe your modem and you can get some internet. So why am I making this video? A few months ago we had power outages over three days that lasted anywhere from three hours to ten hours. And during that time I was worried that all the food in our fridge was going to go bad, we couldn't shower because we have a well, we need electricity to move the water, and I was kind of wondering what can we do, what are we going to do in this situation, and I realized I have a huge battery right here with tons of power in it, but no way to get it out. My car was fully charged at the time and it's really frustrating to me to have all this electricity sitting there waiting, ready to be used. And there's nothing I can do with it. So on the third day, we finally went out and we bought this generator because we needed something, you know, uh, just as a backup in case this keeps happening. Well, during the same time, Elon and Tesla are tweeting about the power wall and their solar and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I have a bigger battery than that right here. Like, let me use it. You know, the car obviously has enough power to power just a couple of appliances. Uh, if they would give us some kind of physical attachment, I mean, people would pay hundreds of dollars to be able to tap into all the energy sitting in this car. So... I went out and I bought this gas power generator and I'm like, I got an electric car here and now you're making me use gasoline for electricity in my house. Uh, so it's a little frustrating. So reason number one is because I'm a little frustrated with Elon and I thought it would be funny to charge my Tesla with gasoline. Uh, and reason number two, a really common question people ask about Teslas is, well, what do you do if you get stranded? What if you run out of energy? So this is maybe one way you could get out of a jam. If you're stranded with no battery, your buddy with a pickup could bring the you were a jerk to all your friends with pickups just because you drive a Tesla? That's kind of messed up. You shouldn't have done that. So your buddy with a pickup could bring this to you with a little bit of gasoline, maybe charge you up for 10 minutes, an hour, two hours, and then you could drive to a supercharger or get home or whatever you needed. So I thought it'd be pretty interesting to try this out and see if we can actually charge our Tesla with gasoline. So let's fire it up. Let's uh, see if it'll charge. So you have a choke in the back. You got to turn the choke on. And then you select gasoline. And start it up. Alright, so let me explain what we're going to do first. So, I'm starting with just the normal 15 amp outlet. Uh, if you look here, this tells us it does up to 20 amps right here. So this should be able to handle it, but what I've done is in the car, I've turned the amps all the way down to 5. Just because I don't want to overload anything or uh, have anything screw up here. So we're going to start on the lowest possible amount of uh, amps we can do just to see if it can charge the car at all. Okay, you can see we have an error here. AC charging interrupted. Check power source and charging equipment and unable to charge. So that's pretty weird. Let's check out over here so you can see our, te can you see there? Our Tesla logo is not glowing anymore. And if we unplug this, looks like it tripped it. Yeah, so now it's reset. Yeah, so it tripped it. That's pretty interesting. Even at the lowest amps, I'm surprised by that. Oh, I also turned up the amps and I tried it at 15 and that didn't work either. It tripped it as well, which is not surprising. Um, so let's go ahead and see if the 1450 outlet will do it. Now I'm not doing 50 amps. I'm gonna try to set it at maybe the minimum again. I'll put it at five amps and then maybe we'll try one above that. But that would be pretty disappointing if this doesn't work. All right, we've switched over to the big boy. This is what I normally charge with the 1450 so you have to start the generator first and then you plug it in so let's try it
So that time you could see the T turned green like the car was accepting a charge and it was getting voltage, but it wasn't charging. It wasn't adding any miles and I left it for maybe a minute or so, but honestly it was kind of freaking out a little bit. <laughs> so uh, I stopped it uh, and it looks like it's not gonna charge. I tried lowering the amperage, it automatically jumped up to 32 um, and nothing. So, you know, it's pretty strange. I actually was hoping this would work and be kind of a ridiculous but technically viable way to charge a Tesla, you know, when you're out and about if you run out of charge. Okay, just for reference, this is what it's supposed to look like when you plug your car in. So the car is plugged in, but I have uh, scheduled charging. So I turn that off and you'll see immediately the voltage goes up and right here, amperage starts going up. It just takes a few seconds. This will ramp up to 32. You can see we're now gaining miles as opposed to when I used the generator, none of these were populating. We only had the voltage and it was kind of wildly going up and down. And speaking of the way things are supposed to look, this is how you're supposed to segue into your sponsor. So check out my sponsor, the Model 3 Part Shop. They have some awesome products on their website. So let me know down in the comments if you know a little bit more about these, if you think uh, I did something wrong. I would love to get this working. Um, I guess I could try, you know, some of the other, we have, we have other sized plugs here I could try out. Um, but I can't imagine if, you know, the biggest, uh, most power supplying plug isn't working that any of the others are going to work. Um, and I have no idea why it would trip a 20 amp circuit when we're only pulling 5 amps. So, I don't know, it's just kind of a, a mystery to me. Uh, but I guess Elon wins this one. But anyway, I would really like if I could use my battery to power other things. That's a lot of power sitting there ready to be used. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love trying these different kind of random things. Uh, maybe we can find another generator that will actually work. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'd love to try some other stuff out and actually get this working so we can get power uh, delivered to a car that's stranded.